George will do if he finds out all our dealers are getting hit. He'll kill Richie for sure. Huh? Devil's working here. This ain't funny. Come on back. What are we dealing with here? We want... Yeah! Somebody fuck! Jesus Christ! Send your men to the First Baptist Church. Those Dixie heathens have been handled. I'll have some of my men come right over. And thanks. Record? Donovan. John. Mr. Donovan, you understand that by appearing before this committee, you have explicitly waived your constitutional rights in regards to counsel and self-incrimination. Sure. And you further acknowledge that by appearing before this committee, you agree to disclose all information pertaining to the events that occurred in New Bordeaux during the summer and fall of 1968. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't. You were an operative in the Central Intelligence Agency from 1953 to 1969, is that correct? That's right. When did you arrive in Vietnam? August of 1961. Please describe for this committee the actions you took during your time in Vietnam? I spent a couple months in Saigon, then I was transferred to a base in Laos that was operated by the Special Activities Division. We trained and equipped the Hmong and then turned them loose on the NVA. We're running arms and supplies via the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And you worked with Lincoln Clay in what eventually became the Phoenix Program. Within a year or so, Lincoln was heading up his own PRU. We'd cross over into Vietnam and locate enemy targets and either kill them or bring them back for interrogation. <laughs> Just thinking about it? Jesus Christ. You wouldn't believe the shit we did to those cocksuckers. God ain't forgetting what those motherfuckers did to the...
Please, Mr. Clay. I won't either. You need to watch where you're going. This man's name is Jesse. We were just having ourselves a little conversation about which you do say. Listen, I ain't done nothing, you hear? I don't know anything. I, I was just taking a walk and walking down the street and, and she scrammed me is all. You with Dixie Mafia? No, yes, I mean, shit. I did it for the money, you hear? I, I ain't got nothing personal against y'all. I don't even carry a gun. Where's Doucette? He's... He's out at the abandoned amusement park to the west of here. Ban Saturdays? What the hell is he doing out there? From what I heard, it's because you've been tearing things up. And Georgie, Georgie's on a goddamn warpath. He wants Richie dead. So Richie, he grabbed what was left of the heroin and took off. Said he was gonna lay low until he could settle things with Georgie. How many men he got with him? Hell, I don't know. All of them. Hand me that knife. No, no, please. No, I ain't done nothing to y'all. Please, I, I'm begging you. My mama, my papa. Go on, get. He could warn Doucette. He ain't no threat to nobody. Let him run back home to his mama. If you wrong, there'll be hell to pay.
bad sense about this, man. Richie needs to work this shit out. Huh? Hey, motherfucker! Nice and cover! Welcome to Baron Saturday's Fun Park. We're sure happy to have you with us today. So put your troubles aside and enjoy yourself. You never know what that dirty... Motherfucker. What do we have here? Something to warm you up.
You fuck. Oh, you going in the grave right after him. Follow my lead, dipshit! Georgie sent you? Can you get around? What you waiting for? Donkey's ass! Yeah, burn, boy! Oh! 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 oh. Whoa, duck it! I see him! Time's a wasted, bitch! I got brothers to bury! Should've ran when you had the chance. Folks, you made it all the way to the paddle wheel. Lord have mercy, it's worth it. Cause 
Nobody noticing? I'm not here to steal your heroin, Richie. I'm here to make you pay for what you did to Sammy and Ellis Robinson. I didn't have nothing to do with that! I watched you stab Ellis in the gut. I couldn't do nothing about it then, but I sure as hell can now. Oh, God damn it. None of that was my idea, you hear? It was all Georgie, him and his old man. They wanted y'all gone. Huh. What was I supposed to do? Say no? Either that or make sure that I was dead. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, please. Please. Listen, listen. Just decent thing would be to let a man get in a prayer before you kill him. You can pray on the way up. When I saw Richie Doucette hanging from that Ferris wheel, I felt a profound sense of disbelief. 
Nothing like this had ever happened before. The mobsters killed each other all the time, but it was generally a small, contained event. Some greaseball is eating spaghetti and meatballs at his favorite restaurant and gets popped in the head. But this was different. Even then, even before I knew who killed him, I knew that Richie had been put on display. Lincoln was trained in psychological warfare by the CIA. He wanted to terrify the mob, wanted them to know he was going to kill every last one of them and that none of them would be able to stop him.